So, I'm aware that this title is gonna ruffle some feathers. Please know that my standards apply to fitness educators, fitness coaches, and fitness trainers. Movement and training in general have nothing to do with body size. Please don't misunderstand this video as a fat shaming video that I have something against people who are obese. I think this is an important discussion in the fitness industry because you have both sides. So let's check out the arguments so that you can decide at the end in the comments what you think is the right thing. But before we get started, I have a gift for you. 30 days filled with kettlebell about workouts for free, check the first link in the description. Grüezi miteinander, Gregory von Lebestark hier. Let's make one thing very clear. Obesity is a chronic condition. A condition that messes up your hormones and your inner workings of your metabolism. If you're starting to lose weight, your body starts fighting you after a couple of days, weeks, months, or even years. Sumitra Nital's study hits the nail on the head. He says, Our findings indicate that in obese persons who have lost weight, multiple mechanisms encouraging weight regain, which persist for at least one year, must be overcome in order to maintain weight loss. These mechanisms would be advantageous for a lean person in an environment where food was scarce. But in an environment in which energy-dense food is abundant and physical activity is largely unnecessary, the high rate of relapse after weight loss is not surprising. University of Michigan says the following. Roughly 90% of people who lose a lot of weight eventually regain just about all of it. And their best advice, don't get heavy in the first place. So in short, we have an ancient hungry brain that cannot cope with the modern world. That's also largely dependent upon your genetics. You know these people, right? These folks who can just eat about everything and don't gain an inch, and then other folks who just have to look at food and then they automatically gain weight. So now that we know what obesity is, let's turn to the point of this video. Like I've stated, I think the fitness coach has to not only do, but also look the part. Now there are some exceptions of course. For example, if Arnold Schwarzenegger now would become obese or gain a lot of weight, yet he achieved legendary status throughout his life in his fitness journey. Even though we have to say that Arnold Schwarzenegger still looks good in his old age. And I think your legendary status might take a hit if you let your hungry brain take over years of dedication and discipline and hard work. So let's build the case first for the other side that says that a person who is obese can become a fitness expert. So here's the thing, you can become very knowledgeable about exercise. This has nothing to do with body size. You can train, be strong, and be fit as an obese person. There are metabolically healthy, obese, and fit people. Obesity is a chronic condition. This makes the argument that these people are lacking willpower to change, void to a certain extent. And you know what? I pick an obese trainer who's loving and empathetic because I believe these are two highly important qualities as a coach over a judgmental dude who's rocking a six pack. Now here's my point of view on why I see it a little bit differently. We should carry our work as fitness professionals visibly on our sleeves. Since the nature of this area of expertise is highly visual, the tree should be recognized by its fruits, so to speak. You know, being obese is still a threat to your health. And many people turn to fitness coaches in order to improve their health and get in shape. And they might look at the obese trainer and think, well, if this thing doesn't change you, why should it change me? Small but important side note. Your value as a human being has nothing to do with your body size. And you can still change your inner workings for the good if you are adjusting exercise and diet. However, it might never really be visible if you suffer from chronic obesity. And sticking to a plan without seeing the results from the outside is a tough thing to do. And my final argument is this. Obesity, unlike HIV for example, can be treated with obesity medication like semaglutide supervised by an obesity specialist. And I know for a fact that this method is way less invasive than surgery. And here I want to share a great experience with one of our clients. His name is Gogo. He lost over 80 kilos thanks to this medication. Yes, he was adjusting his exercise. Yes, he was adjusting his diet as well. But the medication was one of the best tools that he was able to use to get down to a healthy weight. Here's the kicker. If you are able to overcome obesity, get down to a healthier body size, and now you become the fitness expert, you will crush it because you will be able to relate to your clients in a way that I cannot. You'll probably be an even bigger inspiration to your clients 
than I can ever be. You're the role model who overcome this massive adversity. And now you're able to help people who are struggling with the same problem. Now you're in a position to maybe even take the stigma off of getting help from medical professionals, for example, and trainers and dietitians. I think this is a triangle that can work together perfectly. Yet, if you leave professional treatment on your condition, on the table, and you know for a fact that it could benefit you, and bring your body down to a healthy size, I don't think being a fitness expert is the perfect location for you. Now, I know this is a very hot topic and I want you guys to have a discussion in the comments with me. I wanna hear all sides of the story, but please be respectful. So here's the next thing that you have to do. You have to like the video, consider subscribing, share this video with a friend, and then you can watch this video right here. We are a channel that is dedicated to kettlebell training and we help people get in shape with kettlebells so if you're interested watch this video it's a beginner series that can help you get started with kettlebells right away so go watch it right now